guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. And this is the series that just goes on and on and on, my friends. And doesn't seem like it's ever gonna end, but I'm not mad about it, and I hope you aren't either, because I've really, really enjoyed this series. And the series is basically um, going through one particular color story that we blind picked out of, um, oh, I have them right here. These lovely cubes. This one's missing the top. The top's over there. I have some other cards that I need to put back. Because my sister just recently asked me to blind pick for her, for her artwork. She's an amazing artist um, and enjoyed the series so much that she's like, hey, blind pick me a card and I'm going to make a piece of artwork with those colors. How could I say no to that? So hopefully she'll share the artwork with me at some point and I will share it with you guys too because it was so cool that she did that. Anywho, so we're working with a particular color story and we're doing a whole bridal series and originally I thought it would just go for like maybe the basics, um, so maybe four videos tops and um, yeah we're well past that now and I, I don't see us stopping for a little bit longer because you guys have some great suggestions within the comments of the series of other things you'd like to see. And so today we are doing the um, very much requested uh, corsage. I am going to do a wrist corsage. I don't like pinned corsages. It's basically, if you want to do a pinned corsage, my best advice or suggestions is to um, basically make a little bit more of an over the top boutonniere. And typically there's like ribbon and stuff that's involved too. And that's where I have issues sometimes. If you know me at all, if you've watched any tutorials, especially live ones because it's pretty much an ongoing joke, I am really bad with bows and ribbons and things like that. So pinned on corsages are just not my thing. And there are plenty of other great tutorials out there. So I definitely suggest um, hunting one of those down because <laughs> I ain't your girl for it. I just am not. Um, we're going to go old school though. Um, we've done a couple different wrist corsages in the past and I'm going to go way back into the timeline um, of all of our tutorials and we're going to do a ribbon tied corsage. The reason why I like this so much is I have a fat wrist. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I have fat wrists. It's true. My entire life uh, bracelets hardly ever fit. It's uh, everything's like tight. It hurts. It's frustrating beyond belief and that's why I like these tie on corsages because they'll fit for anybody teeny tiny little wrists and the large and in charge wrists that I carry so I love that for that fact we go really wide on the ribbon at first and then you can always cut it down um, I will say if you're doing this for say like a um, Oh, what are they called? The cute little the little flower girls if you're doing something for um, kids in particular I would definitely scale back what I'm going to show in just a little bit. Um, but this works for um, from zero to 99 plus. Anybody can wear one of these lovely ribbon corsages. I will say though, there is also a tutorial if you, and I'll, I'm really bad at always remembering that I'm going to link something. Um, but within our catalog of tutorials, there's also a slap bracelet corsage. I'm trying to see if I can find one of them over on the side table because I love them so much. Where did I put them? I usually have them out on display because they're so much fun. That tutorial was amazing and so much fun. So it's another option if you don't want to do the ribbons and those slap bracelets. They're silicone based usually. Um, those will work really well. I'm still trying to find it, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Shiny happy squirrel. Okay, back, back. Hi. Um, the slap bracelets are also a great alternative. And again, will be large and in charge for those that have fat wrists. No shame. It, it doesn't look that large, but it never fits bracelets for some reason. Maybe it's my hand that's large. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Slap bracelets are also a great option, but today, today we're going to work with a ribbon. Okay. That was the longest intro. Maybe ever. Okay. So let's, let's do this. Shall we? All right, you guys, so the materials, it's pretty basic. We've got the ribbon, which this is a, like a faux silk ribbon, and it's a little over two feet long, 24 inches, give or take, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, you can cut your ribbon to whatever size you want. If it makes you happy, it makes me happy. The other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little bit of cardboard that is the same width 
of your ribbon. I made it in a rectangle, but you could also make a square. Um, it's not very big at all, like probably two to three inches long. Then we're gonna have two pieces of felt, and these are gonna be slightly bigger than our piece of cardboard. And they're going to basically create a little sandwich in a minute. For the flowers, I have one Alice and I have two, I want to say Thelmas, but I'm probably wrong. Um, I do like to go with smaller flowers for this type of project. So at max, one, two and a half, and then a couple one inch or one and a half inch flowers is going to do great. You don't need a lot. The other thing I was thinking about, and maybe we'll do two, we'll see. But boy, oh boy, wouldn't that just be pretty as like a singular flower instead of doing a little grouping? Or, ooh, or, ooh, do, 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 do. maybe we won't do the, the Alice in this. And maybe we'll just do, uh-oh, decision. Why did I do that? Why did I do that to myself? Oh, decision time. Oh, we'll see. I, st I still got time to make up my, my mind. Or maybe we'll do two um, corsages. Then for greenery. <laughs> This is going to be a very sidetracky type of tutorial, it looks like. Greenery, we've got the two different, like this is more like an asparagus fern and just a fern fern. I'm sure there's a better name for that, but we'll just call it fern fern. And then, of course, the star that has been throughout everything is the Italian Ruscus that you can find at ohyourlovely.com. You can also find the flowers there. These guys, though, however, I got from a different craft store. Um, you can mix and match. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't know that I'll just use one of these, but we are gonna cut this down. Like we're gonna cut it into different pieces. So maybe just one will work. Definitely only one of the ferns. And I'm not even 100% sure if we're gonna use the asparagus, but I do have some more Italian Ruscus on the side if needed. All right, so let's start with, I wanna show you just a couple little tricks with these. Oh, fun fact, these were all stemmed up on wires already, but they're actually, they will hold in place on their own, no problem but with a little bit of muscle, you can twist them off the wires and reuse them. So that's that's what I did. I wasn't gonna dye any more flowers, but I do want to show you a little trick for flowers that crack, split, or uncurl a little bit, how you can go from that to back to something like this. So let's do that first. Now this is super simple. The other thing I wanted to mention is um, when you're working with the corsages, I definitely suggest glycerin being mixed into your paint mixture because you want them to be soft and pliable and not breaking apart. These I actually sprayed down after the fact. I didn't feel like they were soft enough for me. Um, I sprayed them down with a water bottle that has glycerin and water mixed together. I don't really have a, a pure like 50-50 mix or anything. I just put in some glycerin in my water bottle and shake it up. So. Um, it, after you dye the flowers, you can do that and it will help soften them up um, if they're feeling a little crispy to you. So all you're gonna need is a scissors. And we're just going to reshape it, kind of go with the shape of the flower. Um, I even go like we're here. I'm gonna go around and there you go none the wiser I feel like yeah here let's do now oh, that one's kind of sad sad looking here we'll get one more there's a oh excuse me I just sneezed that one that one's seen better days right so we're gonna go real deep into the cut on that If you still have some of the dye left over, that's even better in case you get some ends of the flower that are looking like cream is peeking through. There you go, isn't that much better? Oh, and then I'll show you. Take, kind of, it's gonna make me a liar. Hopefully not, there we go. You will take some of the solo wood with you, but it's gonna hold its shape just fine. So there you go. So the first thing that we need to do is create our little structured base. So I'm getting this kind of close to the center of my ribbon. Adding some hot glue. 
and putting that in place. And then we're going to, now the one on the bottom may not be as necessary, but it's just gonna depend on the person that's wearing it, if they're okay with the, the feel of the ribbon or if they want a little something a little softer. I'll let that dry. And then we'll get to adding, the greenery comes first. We're gonna add the greenery first. I really hope I didn't make a mistake because I have my glue gun like right next to here. Here's hoping I don't forget where I put my glue gun down and I get a little glue dribble on my ribbon. Because that would be unfortunate. Okay, so I'm gonna lay the fern down first kinda as my real big filler piece to really get a good spread. And we don't want it to go too, too far because it might like, especially this fern one, get in like your hair or kind of tickle your arm a little. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that kind of looks slightly creepy. It wasn't the intention, but it's happening. And then we're gonna, but I'm focusing more on the outside. Like the center is gonna be the flowers. So we don't have to worry too much about that. All right, let's get this glued into place. I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of glue. And we're gonna, we're gonna work quickly. Yeah, that's coming along. All right, we'll definitely get some more glue now. So we've got our Italian Ruscus. And we're just gonna cut off tiny little parts of it. And these, I know I said we'd do all of our greenery first, but I'm thinking maybe hold on to these until we put the flowers in and then add those as filler bits to fill in space. And I'm just gonna put that one in for now. All right, so let's start. Now how I like to do this, I'm not gonna put it on the ribbon right away because I wanna show you, because the glue is still a little bit hot. So that one's gonna kind of sit on its side and then we're gonna flank the other flowers. Now one of these, I feel like this one, there was like a little curl up and there's still cream there. So I wanna make sure when I put that in the, on my corsage, I put that downward so we're not gonna see that, right? And then I think we're gonna flank it this way. Yeah, I feel good about that. So, I wonder if I should just pop that first. Okay, yeah, that's gonna work. That's coming along. Yes, indeed, it is. So we've got a little bit of like white showing. So we're gonna, the solution to that always for me is just add more stuff. And we'll definitely add some stuff on this side too. Just put in a little bit of glue on the end, slide it through. These are still shifting, so don't mess with them too much yet at this point. And I have this like short little guy. Just gonna get him. Oh, he can get in there already. The glue's still wet. And then we're gonna slide that piece there. Could I have cut the, the little um, felt a little smaller? Yeah, yeah, probably. But from the camera, you can't really see it. So there's just like a little, little, little divot right there. That's okay. I'm not that worried about that. I don't think that's gonna affect the project. I do want to have one more piece of Italian Ruscus like coming out this, this way. And I like the flow of this one. I'm just gonna cut that. 
And then I'm gonna let this fully dry and then I'll put it on. But while we're waiting for this one to dry, I pulled all the other stuff, another ribbon, and I, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. I pulled another ribbon so that we can work with just a single flower. So let's do that while this dries and then we'll put it on. Do y'all remember at the beginning of this project when I pulled, there's brown in there too, and I was just like, ooh, it feels wrong to dye flowers brown. Well, duh. Imagine if this was your color story, the brown would be like the bridesmaids um, dresses, like a beautiful brown silk. And then the ties for the groomsmen and the uh, groom would be a brown. And then it all pulls together. Like, why did I not think of that originally? Oh, need more glue. So I pulled a brown ribbon and now our color story is completely complete with all of the, the colors that we pulled from that story card. So yay us. I think it's gonna be just fine. Oh, I've never done that before. How cute is that? I don't think I've ever just done a single flower anything. All right. So for this one, I'm debating, is that too much? I'm imagining I'll cut right there. <gasps> okay, on camera, I don't like it. In real life, I like it. Hmm, this is in decisions. Okay, let's just do, let's do little sprigs. It's a little crazy, but I think it'll work. So again, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of glue in the center and just go to town. Kind of creating like a, a little, little circle landing for my piece. I don't know if you see that, but like everything's kind of surrounding and then the flower's gonna go right in the middle. Did I need to add that last piece? <laughs> probably not, that was probably too much, but we'll find out real fast. I am going to shorten this a little bit, so it doesn't go up that far in all honesty, but you can trim these down. You just wanna make sure not to clip the actual, well, first you need to make sure your uh, flower is in the camera, angle, like in the, the viewfinder, That that's important. But anyway, that's a me problem, not a you problem. So we're gonna watch out for the strings that hold everything together. We've got a decent amount of room that we can actually chop off, so look at that. Now we'll have a much flatter base. It's not gonna sit up as high. Sometimes you want it to sit up high. This time I don't want it to sit up high. So. And then for glue, I'm going to load her up from the middle and out a little bit. in there. By golly, I think we have a corsage. All right, let's let this one dry and then we'll um, test them out, put them on my arms and see what we think. Back. Pow, 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 pow. They work. Um, I will say it's hard to um, tie these yourself. So let's bring um, you guys in so you can kind of see the full effect. Here is the single flower. Now, this greenery does not bother me. If it was a much like thicker or um, not so like bendy of a greenery, that might bother me. So keep that in mind too, where you're placing things, how it's gonna sit on the arm and focus more the greenery maybe on the sides than up on the top. But overall, I'm loving this single flower vibe. I've never done that before. All right, other flower. Again, I'm having no, this isn't bothering me in any way. None of the other stuff is. Oh, you could take the, instead of making these square, you could make those round. That wasn't the note I wanted to tell you guys, but we'll point out that too, but there you go. 
And um, when tying these, make sure you have somebody to help you. Otherwise, they'll get all they'll get all loosey goosey. But that's just because it's like impossible to tie this all on your own. Hmm, pretty. And there you guys go. That concludes another bridal tutorial. This time, the wrist corsage using a ribbon again can also use something like there's like these stretchy ones um, they do have metal on them so I would definitely suggest taking either that metal and wrapping up some little bit of floor or the felt around them or just be very 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 careful because metal and hot glue oh oh that reminds me what else I was gonna mention so the other option that you have when it comes to gluing these on, if you want even extra stability, if you're concerned that the hot glue is just not gonna cut it, which I've never had a problem as long as I use my uh, handy dandy power glue gun so it gets super, super ridiculously um, burning your fingers hot. Uh, if you don't have that or don't wanna use that, the other option is to use E6000 glue. Now it is stinky, so keep that in mind the E6000 glue, but then also use the hot glue. So what'll happen is the hot glue will hold everything in place while the E6000 does its job of a permanent adhesion. So that is another option when it comes to gluing. I just never do it because Vikram has never failed me yet. Right, Vikram? There's no failing me. So far, so good. All right, that was the other note I wanted to make. So the bridal series will continue as you guys keep giving me suggestions and ideas. I'm going to keep working with them. Um, we are going to have to take apart some pieces just because I only had a limited amount of greenery and I'm not getting any more greenery. Um, and I don't feel like dying more flowers. So I've just been taking apart as, as needed and it's worked fine. So we've got a couple more tutorials coming up for you as you guys, like I said, keep giving me suggestions. But so far we have done a bride bouquet, a bridesmaid bouquet, a pocket square boutonniere. If you need a tutorial on a more traditional boutonniere, we have a whole bunch in our catalog. Just take a look at all of the different videos. There's, there's a ton of them. And then we also have a swag, a centerpiece, and now the cur the corsage, the wrist corsage, using a ribbon, taking it way back old school to like one of one of the very early on tutorials that we did. Super fun with that. And I've got a couple ideas for some others that are coming up. But if there's something else that I haven't done that you would love to see in this color story to continue the bridal series, I'm not against taking suggestions. So drop them down in the comments and you will probably be lucky enough that I will be doing it unless it's like something completely over the top and I just don't have enough material to do it. So don't ask for a book wall. There's a tutorial about that too. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for today. I will see you guys next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely. If you're loving this channel, can't get enough, wanna know the next time we post a video, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. We post typically on Wednesdays. If you'd like to learn more about the wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to oyourlovely.com where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers. We don't say that just to say it. It's the truth. <laughs> Check that out. But before you do, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, that is all for today. I'll see you next week. I'm Stephanie once again from Oh You're Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.